Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor, and welcome to your plant lab. Bonjour tout le monde. Je suis Victor, qui est amateur privé des orchidées. J'espère que vous allez très bien. À propos de Victor, as the welcome po sa your plant lab. Magana araw po. Now we're going to be talking about the Cattleya, that is a direct descendant of the Dawiana. So uh, it doesn't have the Grex before, nor a hybrid name, but now it's named RLC. Um, smiley alki. So this hybrid is with me about for about three years ago and then I purchased it from one of the vendors in an orchid show. Now uh, this the cultivation of this orchid is about the same as the Dawiana. I know that it has a very sensitive root and it blooms about once a year around November, the second week of November. So uh, what you're gonna see here uh, is a tall plant that has three blooms you're gonna see this nice eh? so the way I cultivate this one is that um, it grows under artificial light for 12 hours sometimes I could taper it down to eight hours uh, a day and I water them with the a dechlorinated water which I allow the water to stand for 24 hours to allow the chlorine to evaporate and then to acclimatize in room temperature and then before applying it to the plant now, I seldom put fertilizers on these plants, and um, I just water them almost like about uh, the time when the media starts to dry out, and it's about like once a week. So uh, this is how I cultivated this orchid, and then uh, you're going to see that the flowers are about uh, five inches wide, and it's a, a very nice colored orchid, about uh, the color of like orange, red, yellow, which has... A red flares on the petals and at the center is about violet uh, red violet lip with a orange throat so you're gonna see the plant is about like about uh, one a foot and a half tall and then I'm gonna just rotate it so you can see the entire flower now the the fragrance of this flower is very faint if I could smell 100% then I could just barely smell this the, the fluorescent of it it's about three to five percent of the smell so you're gonna see this is the total plant I'm gonna move it out so you can see a little much better see this is nice so yes growing under artificial lights we're gonna be very rewarding especially during the winter like we have in here in Canada and I hope that you're gonna be having satisfaction of growing as well take care and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you bye bye